Good evening, you're here over the Quad Skate Shop track. Uh, I am Captain Mouse, joining me, me today is Julia Charles. Hello, Julia. Good day, sir, how are you? I am very well, it's my last game for the day. I'm really excited, it's to be a really good game. Mine as well, mine as well. It's, it's been a pretty long day here. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, um, and a reminder to those of you uh, who have been watching all day, we are doing half hour bouts, uh, no stop clocks at all, four penalties to foul out, just to uh, get a feel for how everybody's playing, and let everybody feel the floor out and just get some experience playing. We have had one major injury. We had a player on the last bout uh, break his leg. Yes, Tib and Fib, I believe, yes. Raven Reckless from, uh, I believe, Drive-By LA? Uh, yeah, Bay City, yeah. Bay City, yeah. So just uh, near where I live. So we're, mm. we're sending out uh, many well wishes to him. He, <clears throat> I saw him when they pulled him out. Mm. And he was in pretty good spirits, high-fiving everybody and things like that. So hopefully he'll be doing better, but he will be out of the tournament, oh, uh, obviously, yes. for the rest of this. I spoke to his captain, Abe Norman. He and a few of the guys are going to the hospital checking on him. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. So we do have a couple more bouts happening this evening. For those of you tuning in uh, in other countries, please stick around and see those. It's getting pretty late here in the United Kingdom. We are going to be looking at this bout here against uh, Finland versus Wales and of course Wales that huge bout against the US earlier today. Yeah the Welsh well known for their hard hitting derby style and they found that completely nullified by the very very strong USA blockers and their incredibly agile and nippy Indeed. jammers. And I, and I spoke to USA and they, they said they were pretty beat up after that. It was mm. their, their bodies felt pretty rough <laughs> so uh, they did win that bout but it wasn't without a lot of fight. Oh, exactly. so. So Wales, a, a big contender here in this tournament this weekend. Indeed. Whilst we've got you here, let's quickly run through the team sheets. We've got Finland versus Wales, and skating for Finland today, we have double zero Kartunen, one 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 Eor Block, one seven zero one Wesley Crusher, one nine Tenu, number three Carlos, number forty two Captain Blockvius, number four C one D Acidic Ferret, number forty one Erpokikonen, number fifty one Puto. Number 55, Kenny Supi Powers. Number 6, Memesis. Number 86, Randolin. Number 8, BIT or 8 bit, Wario. And number 99, Tapani Kansan Roses. And of course, we did a Finland bout earlier okay. today, so that's uh, pretty familiar. I'm, I'm uh, getting quick, there now. Quickly from Wales, we have 117 Roll Call, number 17 Jenkins, 218 Longworth, 254 Jones, 26 Swift, 2828 Ashton, 2x4 Cretan Griffiths. 3 Hayes, 337 three, Macab, 36 Phillips, 43 Clark, 79 The Mechanic, FE26 Meredith, and HK86 Clements. And that is your lineup. It looks like the guys are lining up and getting ready to start. We have people getting into place. And <clears throat> like I said, Wales with that uh, that big bout against US. Mm. We did Finland earlier today and, and called that bout, and that was a great bout to yeah. see. Yeah, you really saw the Americans come out and make a statement like we're not going to let the Finns score and they didn't I mean 314 to zero is an impressive score to post against any team at a national level just before we're about to start here a quick shout here I just want to say it, number HK86 Clements is the man who taught me how to skate really he is indeed he I, used to I skate. had no idea you skated as I well. do I, I a captain of my league's men's B team okay yeah chaos engine. Hey, people ask me all the time if I skate and I remind them that it's very dangerous and why would I do that <laughs> so uh and my, always my thumbs up to the folks that put always. themselves out there and, and get out here and do this because it blows my mind uh, that you can do it and get that injured. But Well, as, as unfortunately we found out already today. <laughs> I stay back here where it's nice and safe. Well, even though we can still take part. a stray skater to the face. <laughs> <laughs> Every well, once in a while that happens. Okay, we are nearly ready to start, it looks like. Looks like it. Teams are lined up. I think we're a minute fast. I think everyone's a bit eager here. Yeah, it looks like we've got like a minute or so by my watch. Yeah, I've only got 26 after by mine, and you're at 20, 28, 20, 29 after. 28. But let's see what my let's see the out here. My phone, my phone's going with 29. I think your watch okay, might be yeah. a little slow. <laughs> okay, looks like the Welsh team here huddling up and getting ready. Whistle goes. Now we're about to get underway. It's number 36 Phillips here jamming for the Welsh. And please feel free to. Uh, Twitter us on hashtag MRDWC WC Men's but, Roller Derby. But please World do Cup. not 
uh, directly to us at, at MRDWC. That is not an affiliated uh, account, I'm afraid. Uh, that's, that's some poor random gentleman who, who is getting bombarded with tweets <laughs> about something he doesn't even know exists. Well, we, we brought him into it now, didn't he's, we? He's one of us now, whether he likes it or not. So Phillips here really trying to find a way through at the front of the pack. He really struggled against the Welsh. I ended up having to sit the first three jams in the bin early today. He's up against Wesley Crusher, number 1701. Wesley Crusher again also really struggled against the US. Looks like we have double zero backing him up all the way to the back. So he forces it in around the back. And number 36 once again trying to get on his horse and pick up some of those points. Meanwhile, 1701 looping the track as the lead jammer. Yeah. Wesley Crusher picking up lead jammer in his first jam today. He was the jammer for the Finns who almost scored. He was inches away from a scoring point. Two so points on the board for the Finns, the first points of the day for them. Doesn't look like 36 scored any points on that, so... No. I kind of want to call them the Fighting Finns. It, yeah. just, it feels like it would roll. I, I'm gonna, that's it now. I'm calling them you the can, Fighting yeah, Finns. Yeah, you can just do that. Well, the game against the USA, they fought for every inch, and I think that we should respect that. I'm going to call them they're the Fighting Finns to me from now on. That's it. I've settled that. Everybody can, uh, everybody can tweet that to Indeed, us. Indeed, yes. Let's, let's have some cheers for the Fighting Finns here. They scored three points. Actually, that was my mistake. I didn't see the refs hand call. So three points for Finland versus zero for Wales. Once again, we are back. And oh, it looks like Wales pulling ahead. Two, five, four. That's Jones. And he is he is moving fast around the track. Oh, he is they're, they're followed pretty closely there by Finland's. Looks like number oh, oh, apex jump, but not landed there. Number 42, a failed apex jump as he comes around the corner. Captain Blockvius. Oh, no, it looks like he landed, but then spilled. The points have been given by the jam right there. It looks like Jones is just going to call that off. Would have been very nice if he'd landed that, but unfortunately he didn't. Looks like four points for Wales on that one. Big shout out here from Cobra Shark. He is cheering for Wales whilst watching the feed at home. Go Wales. Okay, looks like the, the Royal Derby City penalty box has had a lot of business there. Looks like it's two on three pack advantage in favor of the Fighting Finns. A lot of um, pushing and shoving in this one. Number 51 trying to keep out that Wales jammer. That Wales jammer, I believe, yeah, is 2828. That is Ashton. Ashton yep. yeah. Does not uh, does not succeed. And Kenny Powers around the corner. Kenny Superpowers. Uh, excuse me. Around the outside. He is not lead jammer, but he is going to come very quickly up to the back of that pack. That is one thing I'm noticing today. These skaters are fast. Uh, it's really, it's quite impressive how quickly they break the, you know, they get around the track. It's very cool. And it's great to watch. It's very engaging and very athletic. You can see why they do this. Just talking about fast, that's a big shout out there to Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates offers unparalleled expertise, customer service, and fast economical shipping. Visit them at www.fastgirlskates.com for league and military discounts. Okay, oh, they're on the inside there. Wesley Crusher with some fancy footwork takes Lee Jammer. For, sorry, for the fighting Finns. Uh, oh, Wales trying to stay on his feet. That is E26 uh, uh, Meredith. E26 Meredith, yeah. He, uh, his W name is the Yayan Man. As his first name is Yayan. I think he took about four hits there and still stayed on his feet, so that's very impressive. Uh, as I said, the Welsh known for being very, very strong physically, and you can see that they're very easily, well, not say easily, very well handling taking the blows he was receiving <laughs> from those Finns. Uh, this is really the interesting one here. I think the Finns might have the skating advantage coming, I assume, most of them probably from an ice hockey background, at least in their childhood. Uh, but ice hockey being a big sport in Scandinavia. The Welsh probably not going to have that same skating background, but bring that physicality they're well known for. Oh, there he goes, number 42. Clap, uh, yeah, Captain Blockvius picking up Lee Jammer for the Finns. Ashton there still struggling to complete his initial pass as Captain Blockvius plows through the three blockers. And Wales a taking a huge beating here on the corner, just bouncing in between yeah. fin after fin, I will just say. That is, again, Ashton. I think the first 10 minutes or so for most of these bouts are feeling out processes, uh, making sure you can get like what team works best against what tactic, that sort of thing. Five minutes into the game to the Finns, 16 points to five, leading. 
Uh, low scoring so far compared to some of the other games we've had, especially on this track today. Yeah, definitely. And this looks like it might be a little bit closer, so it'll be pretty nice to see if that ha actually ends up happening. I do love a close game. I hear that the, the game on the other track, Australia or France, was quite close as it well. It was very close. Yeah, I don't have a final score on it yet, but people seem really excited about it. Waiting for that still to come through on our systems here. Oh, big hit to the outside there by Clements on number 55, Kenny Superpowers. Solid blocking there by the Welshman. Number 79, oh. the mechanic taking Lee Jammer from Wales, just barreling his way through that pack. He's going to piggyback on number HK26, that's Clements, and come around the outside. Clements there with all the work to get uh, Kenny Superpowers sent off for a cut track penalty. But Mechanic is following him now very quickly, so we're going to have a quick jam, a switcheroo. Uh, just quick heads up here, the final uh, score on the other game, Australia 57 to France 117. If you missed that one, good result there for the French. So Kenny, Kenny Superpowers back out of the box and trying to make his way through that white wall of huge Wales players, but... Looks like he is going to come back around, battled his way through, and we have two jammers back on the track. Uh, this one's going to go for the full duration now, obviously, as both jammers happen in the penalty box. Big pile up there in the corner by the refs, and so I see a couple of calls maybe being made, but... Yeah, 117 roll call, picking up a penalty there on 4-4. Four four. As the mechanic skips out in front, picking up four points for the Welsh. HK86 Clements once again taking on the Finns by himself at the front of the pack, turned around front ways. It would, did look there like Wario was doing his best to keep Clements out of the way for his jammer. Although Clements and uh, Creighton Griffiths, as uh, Ryan, I know him, Little John, uh, they're both at the back of the pack now working defense there as Kenny Superpowers gets through picking up four more points. Just barreled through and caught the, the side of that Wales pack and knocked everybody down. Indeed. This one's looking a very interesting game. It's 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 measuring up to be a, I think possibly one of the more interesting, closely contended games we've had today. Yeah, definitely. And you see two really, really different skating styles mm. here. You have the Finns who are very agile, very wiry, and then mm. you have Wales who's just kind of big and and they push and they shove. And I'm actually really impressed that the Finns have managed to sort of balance that out and manage it the way they are. Well, let's, let's not take anything away from the Welsh. There's some great skaters. Oh, definitely. They, they, they focus a lot more on the physicality of Derby as opposed to the, the more graceful side of things. As Clark there forces a cut, oh, sorry, not forces a cut, uh, forces a cut off track and drags it back and does so again at corner one. Oh, oh, that's unlucky. Wesley Crusher just stood up before going off track, giving away the cutting penalty to Phillips here, number 36, who's now on a power jam. Number 36 motioning to his pack to help him split up the Finland pack to help him get through, and then it looks like he may have to recycle all the way to the back to get back in, and so he's going to lose some time there. And his pack finally trying to help him and getting him out of there. And just to remind all the Welsh listeners at home, you can switch the alternate language feed where Statman is doing the commentary in Welsh for you. Which is fantastic. Uh, he is, of course, a Native American, I believe. He, he found a, a lovely home in Wales and learned the language. Phillips here, number 36, has picked up the lead for Wales. The score is now standing 27 to Wales to 24 to Finland. He's on a, still on a scoring pass here as he takes another big block. Looks like we have a track cut call being called on Finland. That's on uh, a Civic Ferret there, picking up a cut track. Uh, penalty going as well there to, I believe, Randallin as well, picking up a penalty. He did not see the refs anymore. So number 36, Phillips, working on his other pass, and he will call off that jam. Uh, now you're seeing the experience the Welsh are bringing. Most of the Welsh players are coming from South Wales Silas. Uh, they're based obviously in South Wales and they've got a lot of experience. They've been playing I think for maybe two and a bit years as a team uh, and that experience coming straight into play. They're calling the jam when they had the advantage of players and I think they just missed out on keeping the power jam which is a shame but it looks like a two on one blocker advantage to the fighting Finns here which would probably be quite interesting. Little John doing what he can with the assistance of his jammer. Oh I don't know how to call that. It's been given. 
44, 42 from Finland, taking on the Wales blockers and able to break through on his power jam. It wasn't a power jam, sorry. The fin uh, Finnish channel was making, did make it back on track just in time. Ah. I do apologize for any confusion there, but the Welsh jammer got lead and lost position, so called it straight away. A pointless jam. A what? <laughs> a pointless jam. <laughs> it happens on occasion. It does indeed. But that's just to remind you, if you are at home watching this game, either in Finland or in Wales, you can hook us up, hit us up even on Instagram. If you look us up on Instagram under MRDWC, share your photos of yourself enjoying the cup wherever you are, and they may even make it onto the stream. I've seen plenty on Twitter today earlier. So that is Ashton taking lead jammer. We have 337 uh, Macabre headed off to the penalty box. As and looks like Finland's jammer as well, number 55. That is going to be Kenny Superpowers also headed roadblock. to the penalty box. And mm. a reminder for you, four penalties, and that is a foul out yeah, it is indeed. this half hour. So I've seen, I want to say two, maybe three so far today. Uh, so it does happen a lot quicker than you really expect. Uh, I think this is Kenny Superpower's second time in the box. I believe so. so. Phillips in the game against USA picked up three before, uh, from basically starting until he managed to get to the bench. He picked up three penalties in the first four jams. <laughs> Poor guy. Got solid defense at the back there, trying to get a goat. The Welsh are on Paul Randlin. He's going to do what any goat should do and fight. And he does so with great uh, success. Ashton uh, taking oh. his time coming up against the Finland pack. And but he's Erpuk. getting pushed around quite a bit. Yeah, Erpo Kokona is laying some big hits on Ashton there. Managed to get him off track a couple of times. They're going to force him to recycle back now, and it looks like the Wales blockers are going to try and break up that Finland pack, but Phillips just says we'll call it off and start well, fresh. That's the veteran move. Ashton, obviously one of the South Wales sides, looked to his bench, and the bench said, just call it, save yep. your energy. Looks again, I mean, I thought this one was probably going to end this way, but it, the Roller Derby City penalty box is picking up a lot of business today. Uh, there's been a fair few penalties today, but you can always expect that when it comes to a team involving the Welsh. Well, when you think about it, that those four penalties, mm. if you were in a, a full bout, a full hour bout, would yep. put you in a lot of danger for that next half. So Very true. So, Meredith from the Wales team picking up Lee Jammer. Ooh. No, it looks like no pass, no penalty called, so... Big hit, though, to the outside there. I believe it was Mighty Mine. Well, so Merritt is sneaking around the inside, getting a big help there from number 17 from Wales, Jenkins, and he is able to jump through and pick up those four points. Finland not able to score on that pass. From the initial good start from Finland, they're really starting to struggle now as the Wales have settled in... Uh, as, the Wales, as the Welsh have settled into the game. Uh, this is uh, looking like it might it might start getting really bad for the Finns if they don't settle down and take control of this game. Well, it, it is very close to the end of the day. They played earlier today. They've already played a couple of times. Everybody's getting pretty tired. So, And it's starting to really show sort of in everybody's performance. Mm. It's always the way with tournaments, though. The later games always tend to be a bit more tired. The mechanic here jamming 14 Wales, really fighting through. The mechanic known for just powering into blow. He's, he's, he can skate wonderfully, but he is a power hitter. Finland picking up the lead jammer for that one, though, is number 79 is Kraut. That is 17.01 from West. Finland, Wesley Crusher. Uh, as two of the Finnish blockers both head to the box at once, leaving this a 4 2 blocker advantage in favor of the Welsh. Okay, we're over here on the Quad Skate Shop track. This track is uh, sponsored, obviously, by the Quad Skate Shop, Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and the most stock of any store on the continent. With excellent consultation services, only a fellow skater could provide. They've got all your needs covered. They love this game. And I believe we have one more bout coming up tonight that is going to be... Uh, That's Argentina, the Netherlands, at 8 o'clock straight after this bout. And so that'll be the last one of the night. Tune in for that, and then tune in right away tomorrow morning as we start again. And it looks like we have at least one foul out already. Uh, it looks like roll call from Wales is headed off the track. I'm not sure what the official That's the, uh, call the is on that. I'm just going to get clarification there.
looks like that was a foul out for roll call. So We're going to get confirmation though before yep. we, go, we go any further. He did not look happy about the decision no, at all. No, he did not. 256 from Wales picking up Lee Jammer status. That is going to be Jones. Jones. That's 256. 254. 254 indeed. My yeah. mistake. Wario jamming for the first time today, I believe, for Finland. There was out of the pack quickly, but couldn't pick up any points. Yeah, Jones making a good call, seeing Wario sneak up on him very quickly and calling that jam. It's not a foul out. He Okay, it's definitely not a foul on roll call though. We're still going to investigate that, find out for you. As soon as we get any information, we'll let you know what's going on. Uh, but on track right now, we have. Oh, is he going to make oh, Wesley beautiful crush Oh, job there. Just uh, to knock past. It looks like uh, number three. Hayes. Hayes went flying into the yeah. suicide seats. They Trying pulled to up chase for a him reason. down. Oh. It looked great, and Wesley Crusher just zipping straight past him. Uh, that's one thing you gotta love about Royal Dive at this level. There is no quit in these guys. They're gonna go through it no matter what they can do. This is a very, I mean, despite the late hour, this is a very fast moving game. Very fast indeed. This next jam is brought to you by the Pivot Line sponsor, GB EMS. Providers of the event, medical cover, and ambulance transport across the UK. They are the only UK RDA endorsed medical team. GB EMS. On the contract. So he has four penalties. Right uh, the mechanic number 79 picking up Lee Jammer there. He's out with a little bit of a speed. The mechanic, he's so the tall and so fast for his height and build. Uh, he is one of those, just you look at him, you know he's strong. He yeah. just screams strength. And I've not had the joy of trying to block him. I don't ever want yeah, the joy of trying say, to block I him. I don't think that would go well for anybody. And it looks, I mean, Wales is starting to settle into sort of this pattern where they're 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 hitting the pack hard, they're getting through, mm. and they're they're doing a hit it and quit it. They're just gonna get those points and get done, and Finland doesn't even have a chance to catch up. Well, this is it, it's a very quick turnaround. Uh, just confirmation that it is a cut, uh, sorry, it was a, a foul out on 117 row call. He picked up a cut track that was his fourth penalty. A very quick foul out there. Uh, that explains probably why he wasn't so happy with the decision. It's a shame. I never like to see foul, skaters foul out. Everyone would just, it would all be nice. There'd be no penalties and everyone behave. <laughs> you all wouldn't just hit each other, <laughs> right? Yeah, right? Okay, Wario here coming up to try and get some points as he tries to pass Clemens out the back of the back. Clemens not letting him pass the lovely little shimmy of the hips there. So once again, Wales cutting that very short. Mm. They, they, they've re I think they've established that they can get their jammers out faster and they're taking full advantage of that. Definitely. And that really is the best way to score points and we all like to see a you know, big power jams and you know 20 point jams and that's always fun to see but this is the best way to win about is just to pick it up a couple of yep. points at a time as you're coming through and not allow the other team to score the key here is it's I mean, it's getting to a stage with derby where it's not about scoring points about stopping your opposition scoring points definitely oh finally finland is pulled out Russia. with a lead jammer it looks like number 1701 Wesley Crusher once again, but he runs up against the back of Wales. I'd like to point out, just whilst I have you here, that Wesley Crusher's no relation to our co-announcer who's been working today, uh, uh, Cleverly Crusher. Right. Uh, it would be funny if they were. I mean, it would be great. But I no. agree completely, and, <laughs> and I have to admit that I'm a huge Star Trek nerd, and so I just it keeps bouncing around in my head. It's one of those, I, uh, there's a referee here who's not working today who has the same number by the name of Captain Kickard, and I kind of want to get a photo opportunity of the two of them together. Right. It's one of those things I kind of feel I have to do. Oh, uh, looks like there's some more issues with the penalty box. Maybe. We're going to have a quick timeout here by one of the teams, and we're going to give a shout-out to the Men's Roller Derby Association. We'd like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRD is the national governing, bo governing body for Men's Flat Track Roller Derby and wants you to join them in the growing world of Men's Roller Derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being a part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. Uh, the MRDA, one of those lovely 
international organizations bodies. That were well, and they did just have a new board of directors elected in January, which is absolutely fantastic, and we're really excited about the changes that are going to be happening this year. And well, that's, that's the horrible thing. Obviously, the skater who was injured earlier, he's part of the board of directors. He is part of the board of directors. Uh, tweet here from Troublemaker909. Team Wales are rugby players on skates. <laughs> that makes I a lot of sense, yeah. I think half of them probably came from yeah. a rugby background, if not all of them. It is Wales. Well, and I have watched a lot of rugby, and I, it makes it, what he says makes a lot of sense. Is it's that same mentality of just, yeah. you know, that, that crush together and work as mm. a group. I definitely would not like to go into a scrum against any of these guys as a former no, rugby no, player. No, definitely not. Basically, I don't want to play against Team Wales. That's kind of what I've settled on as my, my goal in my Make sure my you're life. not rostered for that game, right? Never. <laughs> So Finland working hard and trying to pick up that lead jammer, tripping over number 337 from Wales, who tried to block him, and he has to get recycled to the back of the pack, and so he's going to battle himself back up. He is the only jammer on the track right now, and so number 42 from Finland finally breaks three. Captain Blockbius looping um. around the track. Looks like we have... Oh! Sorry, Greg. I couldn't help but get excited. Captain Block Beautiful, Blockbuster. beautiful apex jump there. He landed that one perfectly clean this time. Absolutely gorgeous. Clean. And he is going to come to the back of the pack, call off that jam, and mm -hmm. Ashton is not going to be able to score. So very well done there by Captain Blockbius. Yeah, great jump and landed it cleanly this time. Uh, just to remind you, if you are at home, you can tweet us at... Oh, uh, at MRDWCQSS track, that's us over here. Or you want to check a, a hashtag on there, that's hashtag MRDWC. You want to tweet us and with any messages, you let us know. Next jams up here as the mechanic tries to fight past the two fighting fins and he does so with ease. It's not all just muscle. He's, he's a smart derby brain in that helmet. <laughs> Kenny Superpires, he's out of the pack though for the Fighting Finns. I told you I've renamed them. That's, that's it, I'm keeping that going now. <laughs> it looks like he's not even going to give him a chance to try. He's going to just call off that jam. And again, so Wales veteran. once again collecting several points on that jam. While Finland stays at zero. So your score right at the moment is 31 to 64 in favor of Wales. Uh, with seven minutes and 30 left on the clock. If you're at home watching and you do want to tweet us, or if you don't want to tweet us, I don't mind, that's fine. <laughs> but if you are at home watching, please, please, please do uh, donate. You on can the definitely tweet button. us. We see it. We'll look well, at it. We'll respond. That's fine. But I'd also appreciate it if you if you can spare the money to, to send us anything you can. A few pounds, a couple of dollars, a few euros maybe, whatever you Whatever you can spare, anything you do donate using the link out on the broadcast page is split between tournament running costs and team travel funds. So we'll be helping support teams you're cheering on with their costs. Yeah, and the money goes directly to the venue and to the space and to yep. cover costs for that. Exactly. And it's, for the players to get here and to play. And It's all going to well-worthy causes. I, mean, I say causes. Well -worthy, it's a well-worthy cause. You know, making sure everyone... And I should shout out, uh, since it's one in the afternoon in the U.S. where I came from, about, about. Uh, I should shout out and say hello to everybody who may be watching from their cubicles at work or <laughs> from their lunchtime breaks. Well, maybe the Argentinians are getting ready because they're obviously playing shortly after this game and they'll be in a similar sort of time zone, I imagine. Penalties flying thick and fast to the Roller Derby City penalty box goes. Another Finnish skater. Looks like a Cidic Ferret. No, he's been waved away. Meredith there calling the jammers and clears the pack. Grim Monster Roller Sports, all new. Visit them today at grimmonster.com. I will spell that for you. That is G R N M N S T R.com. Green Monster. Green Monster. Green Monster, of course, the uh, the folks that came up with gumball skates. Did they? They did. I did not know that. Gumballs, I have learned gumballs something. Gumballs are green monsters, yes. I, I, I love gumballs. They're pretty much, I'm, I go through a, basically a pair a year, but yeah. it's hockey stuff. <laughs> I think a lot of people do, yeah. yeah. And Green Monster, a great company to deal with. And very customer friendly. 
I, I don't think I've had any direct dealing with them. I, think, I don't know if they've got a stall here. I've not seen them. Yep, they do have a booth up in location right here. You can also get a hold of them on the web. Play and conduct on the track. And so, we, oh, we have an official timeout that's happening here. So, once again, we'd like to thank Fast Girl Skates, serving skaters of all shapes and sizes since 2007. www.fastgirlskates.com. There has been a discussion of conduct, but I can't see anyone leaving the track, so I think we might. <laughs> yeah, refs were discussing kind of up there on one that last little zebra huddle we had. Oh, pushing through with gusto. There goes number 42, Captain Blockius. He's the lead jammer. As number 254, Jones, makes his way out of the pack as well. Penalty coming out there. I believe to the, yeah, penalty on the Finnish skater. I think a skating out of bounds call. I'm not sure. Whilst we get some clarification there, obviously just to let you know, there's Derby Love coming from Las Vegas, Nevada. They're loving this bout, and that's coming from Nikki D. I'm loving this bout as well. It's one of the closer ones. I, I prefer a closer game than a blowout. And oh, I, I, definitely. It's much more interesting to watch, and you can tell these skaters are pretty evenly matched. I, 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 the four games I've worked have all been blowouts, and I kind of feel like, oh, <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to this one. The nice thing is that tomorrow they'll start matching up a, a little bit closer to the skill levels. They're going to start bracketing, uh, and so that, uh, you're going to see a lot more closer bouts as we get closer to Sunday, I feel. That's always the way it works out, these round robin situations. Ah, so Terry Webster gives a shout out to all the Welshies watching at home. Uh, come on, the boys, go Wales. She says, go Wales. She does say, go Wales. So the Welsh, very excited down there in, in the south of the UK, correct? Well, the west. West of the UK. West of the UK. As 2828 picks up Lee Jam, that's Ashton. Uh, he's on that lovely power jam as Paul Puto's on his own at the front. He does what he can, that's not a whole bunch. It's not a nice place to be on your own. <laughs> So he's going to keep trucking around and it looks like Finland has a call on Pudo, so he's headed to the penalty box and Ashton looks like he didn't even think about that when he just came around the inside, squeezed past, picked up his five points. Yeah. And so it looks like the Welsh are slowing the pack way, way down to give him a chance to come around and he's going to mm. squeeze around the inside, try and juke around. This time Finland's going to try and stop him, but he's going to give a little skate out and it looks like we have a penalty call on Finland. Yep, Topini Kans and Roses is going off to the box there, leaving Erpa Kakonen on his own again. He'd only just gotten Topini back on track, and now he's back on his own once more. Poor guy is doing the work of Foreman by himself and does so very well, manages to take Ashton off track. Captain Blockbius back. back on the track and taking a little bit of a tumble, and he's going to head back to the penalty box. Uh, Siddick Ferret, though, is now with Erpa Kakonen, so there's the two of them together with a chance to slow him down. Acidic for it, one, two punch though, Acidic for it, and Urban Colonel. Looks like we have a track side. cut call on Captain Blockbius. Oh, it must have been when he landed, it's very unlucky. Just a quick uh, heads up there, that second official that was a continued concern about conduct after the fourth whistle blast. We have had a couple of conversations throughout Ooh. the day about uh, what conduct should be and things like that. And well, this is this is sort of international community and the global nations event. We shouldn't, you know, hands across borders and all, all the lowly tone phrases we have. Well, you know that there are different styles of derby and things mm. like that, so we need to have some kind of universal understanding of what should be acceptable and what shouldn't, definitely. Um, well, that's the, one thing. it's the wonderful way of balancing up the game. Uh, there's, there's obviously different styles of play across uh, across the world, really. Uh, we're seeing the uh, different styles on display today, and it's wonderful to watch. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and seeing it over an hour period, let the teams settle a bit more, because for most of these teams today, this has been their first real session playing together. Yeah. And you don't really know your team until you play them. Oh, beautiful bean tip there by Meredith. Sorry, I had to change my own track of thought. That was too lovely to see. <laughs> but I was saying this, you don't really know your team until you've played together with a few times. And for most of these guys, it's playing for the first time together. Meredith, Meredith on one edge. 
edge of his skate along the inside of the track, just sweeping the edge as he comes around. Absolutely gorgeously done there, but he does get pushed out a little bit further on and forced back behind Finland's number 111. That's going to be... 1111. Your block. Your block, yes. Yeah, Meredith there on that beautiful backwards one footed skate. It's always lovely to see those beautiful skate skills on display as Captain Blockfish is back on track. So, Captain Blockfish is trying it again. We're coming up close to the end of this bout. So, as soon as this jam is over, we have a final score for you. We're just going to let that update and then we're going to get you the final score. A couple of quick shout outs. Uh, not shout-outs as such, but confirmations. The winner of this bout, which is looking to be Wales at the moment, will end up playing Canada tomorrow morning. And the loser, which is looking to be Finland at the moment, will be playing Sweden. Okay, so the winner of the Wales versus Finland is still in running for the Cup, for those oh. of you keeping track at home and filling out your scorecards. We do have a final score of... 35 to Finland and 107 to Wales. So Wales taking that and... Uh, well taking that. So they'll be facing Canada in the morning. They're still in the running for the cup if they can beat the Canadians. Okay, sounds and good. So for those Finland, of you... Uh, sorry, they'll be Finland against Sweden as well, which will be a lovely all-Scandinavian game. So keep filling out your scorecards. That is the end of the day for us. Well, not quite. We also got to let you know, on the other track, on the Royal Derby City track, uh, they have the Argentina versus Netherlands games, the last game of the tournament. That's correct. We're now going to be throwing you off to some adverts. I've been Captain Malice. Julia Childless, signing off. Thank you for joining me, sir. And we're going to pay some bills and talk to you folks later. Bye-bye.